Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some major breaking news from The Flash set. You guys are going to freak out about this, so stay tuned and watch the whole video for all of the news. But first things first, I have a pretty big announcement that I want to start off this video with, and it's to do with memberships on the channel. So. Most of you guys know we have members on the channel you can join by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Those members can join and interact with me every month in our monthly members zoom call. That is one of the major perks right now, however I am working on some more perks that are going to be announced pretty soon but I have one to announce today. So starting from now, every month I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one Arrowverse DVD so that will be like a whole season maybe on Blu-ray or DVD that will be announced when the winner is actually announced and it's going to be happening every month so basically what will happen is if you're a member of the channel you'll be in for the running for a DVD giveaway every single month and along with this I'll send like a letter and it will be signed and everything like that so this is a big new perk for all members no matter what tier you choose so if you guys want to get involved in that along with the zoom calls that we do every month where we talk to each other and you can interact with me in person obviously it's online go down just next to the subscribe button, click the join button today and become a member and you will be automatically entered into this giveaway. It's going to be a monthly giveaway, that means that there will be 12 DVDs or Blu-rays given out to do with the Arrowverse a year. So that is just one big announcement that I have and I've got more coming up pretty soon that I think is going to be interesting. So now is the right time to become a member. Also our next member Zoom call is going to be this Friday, so join now if you want to be involved in all of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into today's topic, so I apologise for the delayed start in this video, however, today's news is definitely worth staying around for, because we have official set photos and these are coming from Frog Photography and also Themyscira Bound on Twitter, their links are going to be all in the description below. All rights go to them with these photos and they are insane. It's lit Twitter on fire, it's lit Reddit on fire. I've seen people going and freaking out about it everywhere. I know I was freaking out about it. So we have some Armageddon crossover set photos from The Flash and what you're about to see is about to blow your mind. So we have this photo right here. What the hell is going on? This is Grant Gustin himself in a yellow costume that very much so looks like the Reverse Flash's costume. Obviously we're going to go into the details and break it down bit by bit in just a moment, but first off, what the hell, like what is happening here? Something clearly has gone wrong and something clearly has happened to the timeline or maybe it's like an alternate version of Barry. It seems that this wouldn't be like the normal version of Barry because no way is he going to wear a yellow costume because he would associate that with Reverse Slash, his greatest enemy. And this is basically like an inverse suit. So normally in the comics, the Flash actually has golden boots and he, in this case, has red boots and his costume is fully yellow, kind of golden-y. So it's pretty much an inverse of his normal suit. However, there is no Flash emblem on the suit it looks like some sort of tachyon device. It's a contraption that we haven't seen before, so it isn't the usual tachyon enhancer. So I have a few theories about what potentially could be going on here. Now my first theory is, and this has been done in the comics, so it isn't that far-fetched, even though it seems a bit wild. So in the comics, Reverse Flash, aka Eobard Thorn, once changed his face to match Barry's. And this happened in the comics, this wasn't in the TV show or anything, so don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. But they actually did that once. So what happens if this is actually Eobard Thorn, but he's just in the disguise of Barry Allen? He's changed his face, like he did in the TV show, from his original Matt Letcher version to the Tom Kavanagh, Harrison Wells version, way back in Season 1. Has he done the exact same thing here? but he's changed himself, he's taken Barry's DNA and he's transformed himself into Barry Allen and he is wearing like an alternate new version of the Reverse Flash costume just with Grant Gustin's face, obviously Grant is playing him and that is the case for, you know, Eobard Thorne, 
and what happened in season one when we had Tom Kavanagh take over as Reverse Flash even though his original face is based on Matt Letcher's appearance. So do you guys think that is possible? I do think that is definitely an option because it's unlikely that Grant, like I said earlier, is going to wear a suit that is similar to Reverse Flash's suit and it also must be mentioned and we'll go to the photos in a minute but you can see right here, Neil McDonough is on the set as Damien Dark, obviously from Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow and it was previously announced that they would be a duo, that being Eobard Thorne and Damien Dark would be working together. So with them doing a dialogue scene that you can see right here between supposedly Barry and Damien Dark and probably Barry wouldn't get that close to Damien Dark if it was actual normal Barry because he knows how dangerous he is right and he's definitely not going to trust him so this definitely leans into my theory of Barry potentially being not Barry and actually being Eobard Thorn, but Eobard's just using Barry's face and I don't know what the explanation would be for the new costume that is something that we will have to get into and kind of theorize more about. I do have a couple of other theories that I'm going to be releasing as new videos over the next few days in regards to this because this definitely is going to spark a lot of conversation because is this reverse Barry or is this actually reverse Flash? So I guess there's always a chance that maybe Barry's been corrupted and and he's becoming more and more like reverse Flash which could be the reasoning to make a new suit However, I'm not 100% sure on that theory, but in regards to the tachyon device, again, doesn't look like any tachyon device I've seen before, as far as I can see in these photos from Frog Photography. And so, what else is going on here? We don't have a flash emblem, obviously that would be underneath that device. And in regards to his suit, if we look a bit closer, his boots are red, as I mentioned. This is kind of odd, given that like the whole rest of the costume is pretty much yellow. So it's definitely a big contrast. His knees, it seems like he's got some sort of like slashes to sort of give his knees some air and some space. I don't know if this is a normal thing for the flash suit or the reverse flash suit. And then as you go up in the costume, it seems a bit unfamiliar. It doesn't look like your typical reverse flash costume or your typical flash costume. So this brings up the idea. Is this an alternate version of reverse flash from another earth? But in his reality, Eobard Thorne has the appearance and he is a doppelganger of Barry Allen. And even though that might sound crazy, it's actually not that far fetched. Just look at what happened with Earth 1 and the alternate Jay Garrick from Earth 2. They are both completely separate people, they are nothing alike, apart from their looks which are bang on the same, their voices bang on the same, so technically they are doppelgangers, although they don't share any similarity in terms of alternate families or anything along those lines, but they share the appearance. So what happens if the Armageddon crossover is reintroducing the multiverse which I think it's very possible they are going to do and with that we will have a new version of Reverse Flash from another Earth who is in fact Barry Allen as Reverse Flash. Now I think this would be a really interesting idea because it's something new and it's not just him sealing Barry's face or something it's literally a version of Barry Allen who on this other Earth went down a similar path to the Flash but he changed and became something bad and something evil, more along the lines of what Reverse Flash did on RF. So let me know what do you think about all of these theories. I am totally open to anything because right now, your best guess is my best guess and I'm just coming up with ideas because my mind is ticking off. There is so many to explore. So let's move on to a couple more photos before we hit a few of the last topics and the last points that I wanted to go through. So we have another photo here from Themyscira Bound, a closer photo from behind of Reverse Barry, that is what I'm calling him. I don't know what you guys think I should call him, let me know in the comments below. Do you have any cool names that you think we should refer to him as? However, he is here with Damien Dark, just like those other photos and they're just talking in the dark. And we have one last really cool photo and in this photo you get to see the tachyon devices off or whatever device it is and we can see the flash emblem on his chest and it does look like it's black however it's very likely that it is red 
and this is just due to the low light situation because this was during the night last night so more likely than not you're gonna have like the exact matching color with the boots and also with the flash emblem on his earpiece okay so some other big things actually happened last night while they were filming there was two major characters that also returned and one other person in a brand new suit as well so those people were the Atom and also Alex Danvers aka Sentinel from Supergirl. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Atom first. So this is Ryan Choi who was first introduced in Crisis on Infinite Earths. He hasn't appeared since but it was announced recently that he would be returning. Lots of speculation naturally led to him maybe being the new Atom and having the mantle passed on from Ray Palmer. Now this is a thing that happens in the comics so it makes a lot of sense and with the actor who plays Ray obviously not around anymore in the Arrowverse, it makes sense that they want to set up a future version of the Atom considering that they didn't set up Ryan Choi as the Atom in Crisis. And here we have our first look at the Atom from Frog Photography from the Flash set last night. This suit looks awesome. It's classic Atom. It looks amazing. It's not the kind of mechanical sort of built up look that Ray normally has. This is proper classic superhero Atom and I absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic and I really can't wait to see it in action, especially when he goes small. And so Brandon Ralph was on the set. Obviously Brandon plays Ray in Legends of Tomorrow and you know in the crossovers and everything else. He was filming recently and that was actually for Armageddon as well. I believe he's going to be in the first episode and then he'll probably have some scenes with Ryan Choi and it will lead to him passing on the mantle to Ryan. And so with him filming before in his classic Atom suit, fighting alongside the Flash, it seems that they definitely will pass on the mantle probably around like episode 2, maybe episode 3, and then Ray will most likely go away and sort of leave it to his new protege in the form of Ryan Choi. Obviously Ryan is an extremely smart character just like Ray, so it does make sense that he kind of trusts him to continue his legacy. So let's move on to the next photo. This comes from Themyscira Bound. Themyscira Bound has a photo of Ryan Choi and Alex Danvers teaming up together. So you can see Kyla Lee here fully suited up in her Sentinel costume. This is amazing as a Supergirl fan to see a Supergirl actor returning post Supergirl finishing because if you guys didn't know Supergirl is ending in November and they finished and wrapped filming a while ago. I think it was like over a month ago now. So it's been a while and it seems that Kyla stuck around in Vancouver. It was announced recently that she will return for the crossover and now it's officially happening with this. So yeah, it's awesome and we got this cool photo from Frog Photography with Alex center frame out in the middle of this night shoot while she is shooting scenes presumably with Ryan Troy and also with Reverse Barry, aka probably Eobard Thorne and Damien Dark. I'm really hoping for Alex that there is some opportunity for Kyla to come back at some point. Maybe they set up a new dynamic between her and Ryan. Maybe if Ryan eventually joins the show, potentially one day, maybe Alex is going to come back. But again, it's all on Kyla if she wants to come back and is there a show that she can sort of fit in right because I don't think she's gonna like randomly show up on The Flash. If there is like another Supergirl spin-off that could happen or a show that somehow links into her and sort of her sensibilities of being this grounded vigilante type hero. So that about does it for this video guys. That is pretty much all my theories. I have a lot more theories in regards to Reverse Barry and what's gonna be happening with that. That video should be posting tomorrow hopefully. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But just before we end this, just reminding you guys, if you want to become a member, now is the time because this Friday we are doing a call and it's going to be a video call on Zoom and that's how we're going to interact with each other and we do this every month with all the members. But this time, if you become a member right now, you could be entered into the monthly giveaway of an Arrowverse season on DVD or Blu-ray. So this is a big thing that I'm going to be working on. There's going to be more exclusive perks for members coming pretty soon so if you want to join the channel and become a member of the DC TV show and support the channel 
all you need to do is click on the join button and choose a tier and you'll be automatically entered into this cool new giveaway. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.